There are many, many true threats to us in this world from fracking, environmental damage, thousands of people dying from pollutants, thousands, millions. You have over 50,000 people a year dying from work-related illness. All right. If you add in the number of people that die in workplace accidents, that's, what, 54,000 people a year dying because of workplace accidents or illness. Now, if you break that down, to like how many per day or how many per hour, basically what you're getting is, is the equivalent of a Boston Marathon bombing every half hour of every day, of every week, of every year. So here's the optic. You've got this situation in the Boston Marathon bombing where a number of people died in the explosion. And it was a terrible thing. And, you know, we went in and we, like, seized houses and we caught these people, et cetera. But then, meanwhile, two days later, a fertilizer plant blows up in Texas, <laughs> killing more people. And in the beginning, we're like, oh, my God, what if it's terrorism? And then we find out, well, it's probably an accident, and then no one cares. Well, no one cares, but it's, it, doesn't, it doesn't matter if it's, like, terrorists did it or corporate malfeasance did it, people are still just as dead. Or take West Virginia, there's this huge leak of toxic chemicals, and 300,000 people are left without water, okay? Poisoned the water of 300,000 people. Now, what if terrorists had done that? We would be freaking out. But because it was a corporation that did it through its malfeasance and ineptitude, no one cares. So what's going on? The problem is that we're fearing the wrong things. We're not fearing the things that we ought to. Or forget about fear, we're just obsessed with the wrong things. We've seen incredible rise of crony capitalism in the United States government, um, which is corrupting the government and corrupting capitalism. It's again the sense that business and government needs to be in bed together and, and uh, benefit each other. Uh, business benefits government not in the old criminal way, they don't bribe people, but by providing the necessary thing that congressmen need to survive, money. Um, 